to what um, your notes were last class period. If you guys remember, your notes last class period was simplify, apply, and then simplify. So you guys see that we have a trinomial, right? So we should, be, we should simplify this. So what two numbers multiply to give you 6? What two numbers multiply to give you 6, but then add to give you 5? So we'd say x plus 3 times x plus 2. It's important to factor that out because when we look at the LCD up above, we want to find the smallest term or expression that x plus 2 divides into as well as x plus 3. Right? Well, we have x plus 2 on both of them, so we know that the LCD has to include x plus 2. But we also need x plus 3 divide into that as well, right? So the LCD is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 3. Does everybody see that? Does x plus 2 divide into this? Yes. Does x plus, and then this is the exact same thing as that, so of course that divides into it, right? So you can see that this is already my LCD, but over here I need to multiply by, to get the LCD, x plus 3 on the top and the bottom. So therefore, I have x plus 2 plus 2 times x plus 3, all divided by x plus 3 times x plus 2. I like to leave things factored out, because um, I think it's just easier to see and, of course, to divide things out. But then we can apply the distributive property, and you'd have x plus 2 plus 2x plus 6 divided by x plus 3 times x plus 2. And then can we combine all the terms in the numerator? We can do x plus 2x and 2 plus 6. And you could also multiply this back out into there. The answer might look like that. So your final answer could look like 3x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 6. So does everybody, so you guys could just remember when you're doing adding and subtracting.